Hey guys, what's up? My name is Three Face, and today's video is going to be about the worst weapons in Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, first, I'm gonna be talking about the assault class, the SMGs, shotguns, and you get the picture. Uh, this is just uh, a video about my personal opinion about these weapons. Uh, they're not necessarily bad, but I think or I feel that each weapon uh, that I will pick today is uh, an underdog in its class. It, it does not fit and there are s much better options out there to start with or even play on that operator. So, for the assault class, there is or the assault rifle class we have the G 36 C I know I know this gun on paper sounds amazing but when you get a, a few rounds behind this gun you understand something that the only benefit of using this gun is the recoil the damage is not that great the rate of fire is not that great only thing that is redeeming for this to use this gun is the recoil and if you don't land it those headshots like right away you're off a lot of time you're gonna be killed by a headshot yourself meaning if you go for body shots uh, you're gonna be outgunned by a three armor defender or even a two armor defender using something uh, as powerful as let's say the smg 11 or maybe someone like rock or doc using the mp5 so that's why I rarely use this gun. I mean, it's a good gun, but like I said, it's an it's an underclass for all the good assault rifles that we have out there. So we're gonna mo uh, be talking about next the LMG. Now for the LMG, this was the easiest pick ever. I mean, this gun on paper sounds amazing. You have 68 damage, uh, 650. Uh, I think it. I think it was 650 uh, RPM and you have that insane damage was, which is uh, 36 so, so you can down a 3 armor uh, defender on just 3 shots but they're like the worst thing about this gun is the recoil the recoil is absurd it's so so enormous so huge you can't actually land headshots nor body shots the only benefit of using an LMG is that suppressive fire of landing like 20 or 30 shots in a row and just suppressing your enemy he will be even afraid to peek you. With this gun the whole point of using an LMG just goes out the window because the recoil is so high even trying to suppress your enemy you have to tap fire and that's not really suppressing and if you keep uh, full on auto fire your bullets will land everywhere and you will not get a, a single shot on this gun so in my mind this is like the worst LMG that you can use for uh, an operator like Fuse uh, I would I would rather use the shield than use this gun this gun is just that bad so that's my uh, opinion about the worst LMG in the game moving on to the worst SMG now for the worst SMG out there I have to give it to the M12 I mean, I don't understand how people use this gun after a few rounds with this gun. I just understood that this, this is a shit weapon to use. Because basically you have 25 damage max. You have enormous drop of distance, a uh, drop of uh, uh, drop of damage distance, and you have a very slow rate of fire of 550 and 30 rounds in the mag. And the only good thing about this gun is the recoil and if your aim is not on point if you're not going for the headshots you're gonna just like you're gonna be outgunned every match so this smg is a very specified weapon to use you have to be your aim have to be on point to use this weapon so i rarely use it i i kind of have a potato aim but even with with someone who who like has amazing aim if you don't go for the headshot like on the spot you're fucked you have no chance of winning that firefight and you're just gonna die so th that's that's why i will give the m12 the worst smg title again this is only my opinion moving on to the worst shotgun now for the worst shotgun in game this has been like a bit hard for me but after a few rounds and 
some careful consideration I decided to give the Sega 12 or SASG 12 the, the title for the worst shotgun in game. Don't get me wrong. The gun on paper is amazing. An auto rate of fire, you have a large magazine of 12 rounds, you can actually equip a suppressor. But the thing is, the drop of distance is insane with this gun. Unless you are like right next to the enemy, you, can, you will not let that one uh, shot kill or one shot down but not out of stage. Like when I'm using the shotgun that uh, smoke or mute uses or even uh, the supernova or the spaz 12 or any other shotgun i feel like if i'm within a certain distance i will put that enemy in a down but not out stage even three armor uh, attackers like uh, a blitz montane or fuse i can down them in two or three shots and sometimes even kill them if I land the last shot on head or one of the shots land on their head. So this gun is like you have to be super close with it. So that's why I think the, SM, uh, the Sega 12 has will be given the title of the worst shotgun in game. Moving on to the worst pistol. Okay for the worst pistol in game I have to give it to the 5.7 USG. I mean, the only good thing about this gun is the magazine side, which is uh, 21 plus 1 in the chamber, so it's 20 and 1, the 1 in the chamber. And the damage is not that great. I, I think the damage is 27, 28. But whenever I like, play with this gun, I automatically feel underwhelmed. For a pistol that d does that minimum type of damage, because in a situation you're trying to do the maximum damage to an opponent you're not necessarily gonna land those headshots you're just trying to finish off the kill maybe an opponent will have 30 or 40 health you try to take him down uh, quick uh, instead of backing up waiting to reload and kill, killing him again so this gun you have to actually land two or three shots on mid chest or possibly even get a lucky headshot to kill him while like all the other weapons does 30 plus damage has good recoil a good amount of bullets in the chamber this gun like this handgun does not really fit with the rest of the handguns so this is my like this is the worst handgun in my mind for a rainbow six siege this gun this handgun is just it's just bad and there's like nothing to it again this is my personal opinion so we're gonna be moving on to the DMRs. For the DMRs, it was kind of a bit of a difficult decision. The SR25 is not necessarily bad, but it's not necessarily that good. The whole point of a DMR is accuracy. You have to uh, keep in mind that every shot counts. You're not using a full automatic weapon when you can spray 10, 15, or 30 rounds and just go full auto on your enemy and down you have to be accurate every count matters uh, i'm sorry every shot matters so when you use a weapon like this the, like like on the top of my mind when i used when i used the sr for like for the first time the recoil the, like the vertical recoil is just too much the follow-up shot is never accurate I mean sometimes sure you, you're accurate if you do like an insane amount of uh, recoil management but even for the Kamaz that does not have a forge grip or an attachment to reduce that recoil you can manage it a whole lot easier than the SR. Uh, the 417 or 417 that DMR that we choose is a laser beam when you equip the attachment for that DMR the follow up shot and the shot be after that it just always lands on targets so th that's like in my mind that's the reason why the, S the SR got the worst GMR for Rainbow Six Siege the recoil is just too much now in addition to the worst guns in Rainbow Six Siege I'm gonna be adding a little bonus clip or a little bonus uh, idea I have about the secondary gadget 
In my mind for the attackers the worst gadget is the stun grenade. Some people are amazing with that. Again this is just my personal opinion. But for a gadget that it, the whole purpose behind using this gadget is to uh, stun your enemy, uh, not give them the ability to see you or hear you. It does not always work. I mean when you put a claymore on a corner or in a specific lo location, when it works it's fabulous. You have you know that you have that corner on lockdown, nobody can pass through. Even if they try to shoot you, uh, to shoot the claymore to destroy it and try to flank you, you will heal them, you will already know that someone is behind you and you will get the cover. Now for the stun grenade, I, I mean it's just it's just not working for me at all. I do use it sometimes it just works, sometimes I flash an enemy right right directly in front of them, does not work sometimes it works so this inconsistency of uh, of this gadget just like let me i just keep away from it if i absolutely have to run a secondary gadget for any attacker i always go for the claymore sometimes i put it near the objective or near a window so i don't get flanked and does not necessarily always work but it's a better option than using the stun gun it so that's why in my mind the worst secondary gadget for the attackers is the sand grenade. Now moving on to the worst secondary gadget for the defenders. The worst secondary gadget for the defenders I have to give it the de deployable shield. I mean I know on paper this sounds amazing you have this mobile cover you can hide behind it uh, only maybe a grenade or an ash can breach through it but in fact I don't see this being used at all. Even when you try to hide behind uh, an armor and try like to stay deny the enemies from entering to the objective, you would basically put a giant target on your head uh, just by seeing this armor. When I see uh, like a deployable shield on when I'm attacking, I automatically assume there is an enemy behind it, and I try uh, even consider the possibility it might be a trap someone just placed the shield over there to distract me and get a kill on me so it's like a red flag for me i rarely use it i mean for me even the barboy a simple gadget does much better than a deployable shield like i place barbars on choke points around the objective uh, i can actually hear people when mail when they try to melee it or when they try to move through it so the deployable shield and like in my mind is the worst secondary gadget that you can equip I suggest that you run with the C4, uh, barbed wire or even the impact grenades is, is a much better option than the deployable shield so guys this is it for today's video but if you find this video helpful let me down in the comments uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video bye guys